Hello everyone, I'm with Dr. Pascal, I'm Dr. Dan. Today we're going to be talking about some back to school stuff, whether we want it to or not. <laughs> it's August, but we have to start talking about the back to school routines and the backpacks and, and what's best for the, for the child and your kids and how it may affect especially their posture and effects on the neck, uh, middle back and lower back in terms of pain. And overall health. Yeah. Right, obviously. <clears throat> and so Dr. Dan and I, we are focused primarily on posture, structure. When we look at patients, when we work with people, we're always trying to improve posture, improve the mechanics of, of what we're doing to you know, minimize the load or minimize the pressure on the spine, the body, and the overall health, mm -hmm. right? And a common cause of it is, or a common cause of postural distortion would be wearing a heavy or wearing a backpack improperly. That's right. So some of the main things that we see with backpacks that are worn improperly are one, oftentimes you see kids, youth wearing them with very loose straps, right? So there's very loose straps, they're weighted heavy on the bottom, and what that does is it sort of sags the person backwards. It kind of shifts them backwards, driving the shoulders behind the hips, potentially causing low back pain or low back issues, and then as a compensation, the head then drives forward to keep the person's balance, straining the neck and shoulders. Right, and I know obviously we're doing this on audio, if you're listening to this on podcast, if you're listening on YouTube as well, now you get to see us, but the key thing here is the effect that those backpacks could have on our posture, and like you were just describing, the, the heavier and the more that those straps are loose, it really, you know, kind of the body's now compensating to really so that the child doesn't just fall straight back onto their backs, right? You got it. So that with that loose backpack, and I see it all the time when kids are walking on the sidewalk, they got their backpack basically on their butts, basically. Yeah. So their heads are driving way forward just to kind of balance things out. So the first thing that you want to check for your child when they're wearing their backpacks is that those straps are as tight as possible, making that backpack kind of rise up their back, you know, so it sits in the upper part of their back as close to their body as possible. Correct. Almost carrying the load on the shoulders. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. And now it's the closer it is to your body, then the less the body has to compensate to carry that backpack. So now you don't have to drive that head as far forward as possible. Correct. Right. So that's number one. Number two is when we load the backpack. You want to avoid one, obviously you avoid putting a lot of heavy items in there, but if we're going to load them, it's organizing it properly where the heavier textbooks or the heaviest items are directly against the back or directly against the spine, mm -hmm. and then loading items that are lighter towards the outside of the pack from there. Again, the whole idea there is keeping the load as close to the body as possible, avoiding heavy loads away from the child's spine, because the further it is away from the spine, the more they're gonna have to compensate. Yeah, and this to me, what I found with my three boys is some teaching that needs to be in play, because yeah. a lot of times we'll say, okay, you know, they're loading their backpacks, and literally, let's say it's in the morning and they're rushing around, they're just literally throwing everything they need to bring to school and just try to make it fit. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got their lunch bag, they've got maybe some homework, they've got some binders, some books, so so really what we have to get them to teach them is you know to lay that backpack flat on the ground lay the heavier and the kind of the bigger items flat first then let's say some looser things and then from there let's say if they're bringing a jacket or some other you know some other things to school that's the stuff that's going to be on the top part so kind of the bulkier items will be away from the back as as much as possible right and then there are obviously higher quality backpacks better backpacks that are going to yeah. have already built in separation I know some of them now have sort of a like an elastic pocket on the back. Why? Right. Because you want to put the laptop in there. So right. a lot of them are built to keep laptops, which is a heavy item, and that snugs that laptop right against the spine. So those are great bags. You know, it's worth, in my opinion, to spend a bit more money to get a backpack that has proper separation, but also has those slots in there that allow you to keep the heavier items closer to the spine without it, you know, flopping around in the back. Those will have better support, better straps to tie on. Yes. And some of them might even have the waist strap. I was just so, going to talk about that too. Yeah. And, and this is obviously what you know. What? How is your child going to school? Are they taking a bus? Are you dropping them off? Are how they, far are they are walking? They walking yep. for a while. So especially if the, your child's going to have your, their backpack for a while, meaning that they need to walk or something like that, then definitely I would invest in a better backpack with, like you mentioned, some great straps. But even ideally, a strap that would either tie up those straps at the very top part. Yep. Kind of like right over your a sternum strap, or the top yeah. part and then on top of that a kind of a belt around so what that those two straps do is they really snug that backpack as close to the body as possible and like we talked about for for their posture it keeps them from you know having to compensate and get that head way forward absolutely
Okay. And then the last point is the weight of the backpack. So the total weight of the backpack is extremely important, right? There's varying opinions on there, but it ranges between 10 and 15%. So we'll say on the high end, at most, yeah. the backpack fully loaded should not weigh more than 15% of the child's weight. Yeah. Now, this is a little bit tougher when they're a younger child. Like, you know, I remember, let's say, in their, when they're kindergarten, grade one, grade two, basically, like, their lunch bag would be yeah. <laughs> enough to basically be over that limit, right? But the key thing also is the size of the backpack, uh, like, that we found as well. So, uh, some of these backpacks are a little bit bigger, and, and when you have a bigger backpack, you're just gonna try to stuff more, more in, in there. So, especially if you have a child in grade one, grade two, you know, and they're weighing 50 pounds, you know, you know, that the max, right, 10 to 15%, now you're talking about, you know, let's say seven and a half pounds is the max that they could put in there. So if they have, let's say, a few books, they have their lunch bag, they've got a jacket, something else, it's getting close to that limit. Now, especially if that backpack is even bigger, then they may stuff in their boots, and, and so that becomes way too big for their little bodies and little frames. Right. So when they're smaller, try to get a smaller backpack so it limits the amount of weight that you could put in there, but really watch that weight. That can make such a difference for them. Absolutely, and especially, you know, to be aware of this, sometimes we might shrug this off like, you know, uh, maybe that is not that important or maybe, you know, my child is not doing this, but it's actually quite common. They say it's at least one in three, if not more children that's using the backpack improperly or weighting it too heavy. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, so it's like one, two, three, so not it, not it, it, right? Yeah. That's quite often the case and so we do need to pay attention to this and then on top of that it's not only the number of children that are reporting or, or being uh, found to be using these heavy improper backpacks there's a alarming number of children now that are starting to complain about headaches neck pain and upper yeah. back pain and obviously this is not the only source because we know right. technology plays a role in their cell phone usage so on and so forth but you, now you have you know hours of cell phone usage add a heavy improperly loaded backpack and you have these these uh, things that are sort of adding up and making things worse. Right, and we've talked about this in other, you know, kind of podcasts, whether it's about technology, uh, posture, sitting, ergonomics, everything else like that. Really, all those different topics all affect us in different ways. We just want to reduce, you know, as many of those components as we can to limit the exposure of damage and distress, especially on a young spot, right? right? That's the key thing here. We're seeing more and more kids coming into the office with issues talking about my neck hurts I have you know tightness in the shoulder blades uh, headaches all these things and, and kids to me that's way too young to to develop Absolutely. so we have to minimize that so obviously backpacks is, is is a key thing and I know you mentioned that the study you know mentioned about if you know a third of, of uh, students kind of wearing their backpacks improperly you know just from <laughs> seeing you know kids walking around it's probably I think more, it's right? probably I, way, I would way higher yeah. than that and what I found for me that that helped our kids kind of pay closer attention is really to explain, yeah. right? Like there's a difference with, you know, maybe it's just my kids, but yeah. if I just tell them something, they kind of want to do the opposite, right. <laughs> right? But if I'm trying to help them understand the reason why, you know, I would like them to wear their backpacks a certain way or how they could fit it, then they, they could start to go, okay, yes, that makes sense, or yes, you know, sometimes actually I am a little stiff because of things, so that they could now, you know, play along and help themselves so that they don't have problems later on. Uh, excuse me, and for parents out there who aren't sure, you know, how do I know if my child is wearing this properly? Obviously, you can find someone that is uh, properly educated in posture and postural ergonomics, like a chiropractor or a physical therapist that has that background. Go see them, bring your child in, and have them do an assessment when the child is without the backpack and with the backpack. And you can see the postural compensations that have to happen. I know we use a program called Posture Screen, yep. and that's what we use with all of our patients to assess any postural imbalances. It measures them. And the neat thing with that program is it measures the weight of the head as the head shifts forward. So we can take a picture of the child, we can measure what their head should be ideally in the proper position, you throw the backpack on and you can see how many inches the head has to drive forward and it shows you right away how much strain there is to the neck, shoulders and to the spine just based on having to compensate for that backpack. So and that's a great way to do it to see the effect. Very easy and quick, right? Yeah. But I think what we've noticed a lot in the past too is that if a child is starting off with you know, pretty good posture, the effects of the bad pack of the bad backpack position is less. Much less. The, the further deviated yes. a child's posture is, 
the more they have to compensate with a bad you know position and sometimes the, the head position could really increase by two to three inches because they're already that far, far off, off. Yeah. so the key thing to look for is number one making sure their ear is over top of their shoulders shoulders over top of their hip in terms of a normal everyday position and watch that change as they put their backpacks on are they you know shifting their head that much more forward right so hopefully you found this useful. Yes, again, it's that time two weeks ago. Kids are back in school. Not too many kids are excited, I don't think, about having to get back to school. But either way, if you have any questions or you want more information, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to help you out or answer any questions you have. Have a beautiful day and have a healthy commute.